Let's do some examples using rigid rotator particle on a string, a particle rotating in two dimensions. Here's an example. What is the probability of finding a particle at some angle between alpha and beta for a particle on a string? So we want probability and uh, we know if we square the wave function we get probability density. So we take that probability density and multiply by that volume area. In this case it's an angle, difference in angle. Then we'll get the probability. Let's go ahead and do that. Just as we said the probability of finding um, something say between A and B will be the wave function complex conjugate times the wave function integrated over some space d tau from A to B. If we apply this to uh, the problem, we want to integrate from some angle alpha to some angle beta of the wave function a complex conjugate of the particle on a string, that's 1 over the square root of 2 pi, e to the minus i m phi, it's the minus because we have to take the complex conjugate, times 1 over uh, square root of 2 pi, times e to the i m phi and we're integrating over d phi. 1 over the square root of 2 comes out, 1 over the square root of 2 that's just 1 over 2 pi and e to the minus times e to the plus anything is equal to 1 so this just be the integral from alpha to beta of 1 d phi and that's just equal to, we can do this in our heads probably, beta minus alpha over 2 pi. So that's the probability of finding um, um, the particle between angle alpha and beta. For example, if uh, alpha is equal to 0 and beta is equal to 180 degrees, let's call that just pi, then the probability of finding the particle between these two angles, that would be just pi, that would be equal to 1 half and that's just what we expect. Here's the particle on a string and uh, let's make this zero angle. So this will be angle uh, pi over 2, this will be angle pi, and so on. This will be 3 pi over 2 and this will be 2 pi. So it, uh, there's no potential here so it's equally probable, the particle is equally probable anywhere along this circle here. So if we go halfway across the circle, the probability of finding it halfway uh, over half the circle is just one half. So we get the answer we expect for this problem.